Hello everybody, The Quiet Atheist here. I want to share this article with you guys because I think that it does a really good job in regards to exposing the amount of idiocy, bigotry, ignorance, and hatred that this particular Christian has when it comes to the LGBTQ community. Before I share this article with you guys though, I want to talk about the amount of respect that I have for people who act like this who believe in this fairy tale, which is none by the way. I just don't see how any of these people are worthy of any respect. Just look at how these Christians treat others who are different. We are no strangers to any of these guys. People obviously have had enough of the misguided bullshit that these people implement in society every single day. So let's get to the article at hand. A senior Catholic cardinal said during the 12th annual National Prayer Breakfast in Washington, D.C. on Tuesday that transgender people are demonic and are causing the death of God. So this idiot thinks that people who are different are just demons walking the earth and all that they are interested in is corrupting society as we move forth. And we know that this is complete fucking bullshit. We know that this is complete fucking nonsense. The only thing that this religious idiot is interested in is an opportunity to cram his bigotry down the throats of people. That's it. This idiot also says that the presence of the LGBT community is also causing the death of God. All I have to say to this is, if this alleged god of his is that fucking weak, then maybe he should abandon it. Maybe he should abandon the fairy tale. Maybe he should abandon all of the bigotry and hatred because right now, this is not making this religious idiot look good and it fucking never will, to be honest with you guys. This Christian also says, the death of God results in the burial of good, beauty, love, and truth. Good becomes evil, beauty is ugly. Love becomes the satisfaction of sexual primal instincts, and truths are all relative. Well, if he considers homicide, genocide, and infanticide to be good, beauty, love, and truth, well, maybe all of this nonsense does need to be buried. Maybe it does need to be forgotten. There is nothing wrong with human beings getting satisfaction from a sexual encounter. You denying us that right is denying the fact that we are actual human beings and this makes you look even more fucking retarded. So congratulations in regards to showing everyone just how fucking retarded you truly are. Now what do you know about truth? You believe in a magic man in the sky that is going to somehow come down and save you. Really? He also says, so all manner of immorality is not only accepted and tolerated in today's advanced societies, but even promoted as a social good. The result is hostility to Christians and increasingly religious persecution. Nowhere is this clearer than in the threat that societies are visiting on the family through a demonic gender ideology, a deadly impulse that is being experienced in a world increasingly cut off from God through ideological colonialism. Well, I have always said that social development and civil rights are good. Your religion is insignificant and you're on the losing side of history. The sooner that you realize that, the better off you will be, actually. The only hostility that I see here is coming from you Christians because people are not bending to your religious nonsense anymore. You hate that because it's all about wanting a theocracy for you guys. You want to be able to tell people what to do and when to do it and that is not going to happen. And what the fuck do you know about religious persecution? You have no idea what that means. Here in America, you have everything, so don't sit here and tell fucking lies like you know how. Your ignorance is astounding, and since we are on the topic of religious persecution, let's talk about it for a little bit. There are Christians in Africa and the Middle East that are being killed by Muslims because of their beliefs. That is true religious persecution, not what you are basically pulling out of your ass. But of course, Christians over in Africa are doing the same exact thing to Muslims as well. It's religious persecution for everyone, basically. So when you say that your religion is all about love and acceptance, you are a fucking liar and a hypocrite. Oh, wait a minute. I know what you are going to do. You are going to pull out the no true Scotsman fallacy by saying that these people are not true Christians. <laughs> That is not only pathetic, but it is childish. I will tell you right now what this deadly impulse is. Believing in a fairy tale that is specifically designed to eat away at the very fabric of human nature. Guys, there is more in this article that I would like to cover, but to be honest, I cannot stomach the retardation any longer. I just don't understand how this fucking idiot can wake up every fucking morning with this type of fucking thinking.